Hi and welcome back to How to Use Anna 2. In this one we're going to be taking a deeper look into the FM stuff and we're going to make a sort of 80s twangy slap type DX bass. So we're going to be using um, all sine waves again. So I'm going to load sine into oscillator 1. And what we can do from there is instead of having to set up the other two oscillators, we can just copy from oscillator 1 to oscillator 2 and 3. And we do that with this drop down here. So we can just copy to 2 and copy to 3. Now when it copies across, the source isn't selected in the FM, so we'll have to reselect our sources. So what we're going to do is have um, 3 modulating 2 and 2 modulating 1. And this gives us a sort of setup where we can um, have a more extreme frequencies going on. So we'll drop these down into the bass register, octave 2. And we'll also drop this one down. And we should also turn retrig on on all our asks. You can hear there the extra harmonics that are being created by um, the extra FM there. And for this one, we're actually going to go up an octave. And we can play about with that a bit. And again, we're going to use our mod envelopes to create um, some movement in the FM amount. So on oscillator 1, we will right click, send it to mod env 1, and oscillator 2 will send to mod env 2, just to give us that extra bit of control between each of the um, FM amounts. <laughs> And I'll, yeah, I'll keep it on Anna 1. And what we can also do, if we go into our modulation, this um, multiplier will affect how much the depth is affecting the FM amount. So I'm going to just turn it down. And it means that the depth amount control uh, just has a bit more um, movement in it. <laughs> And we can tweak a bite just to try and get a, something we like. And depending on what way you want the sound to go, if you want uh, sort of something quite fast and attacky. Can do that. If you want something a bit more extreme, and once you've done that, you can actually go in then and play about with your octaves, and you can get some interesting sounds. So the FM gives you lots of sort of variation in tone and harmonics and you can spend quite a lot of time playing about just with the depths and the different envelope points. Get some very cool sounds. And there we go, there's how to set up a sort of FM twangy bass. In the next video we're going to be looking at more of a stringy pad Oberheim type sound. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.